Hello, I'm Virginia, and welcome to Energy Matters News. Nuclear energy has been rising in popularity as power generation becomes an issue in a carbon-constrained world. However, the immense tragedy of the Japanese earthquakes has been further compounded by an emergency at two nuclear reactors at Fukushima Power Plant north of Tokyo. Part of the nuclear reactor at the Fukushima No. 1 atomic plant has already exploded, with another reactor suspected to have suffered a partial meltdown. ABC News reports that excessive levels of radiation at a second plant in Onagawa have led authorities to report a state of emergency. Solar trade magazine Photon has conducted a test to measure the electricity output of a solar panel over 12 months in real-world conditions. Photon's test showed REC peak energy solar panels produced 6% more power on average than dozens of other products. The modules were ranked best in the test for 5 out of 12 months and second after a full year of testing. REC solar panels are becoming a common sight on rooftops around Australia after national solar solutions provider Energy Matters introduced them to the Australian market last year. A new report from independent energy market analysts, Rome Consulting, has found that renewable energy schemes only add between 4 to 7 percent to electricity bills. The report also concluded that even in the most aggressive scenarios, the combined renewable energy schemes are likely to contribute less than 10 percent to retail electricity tariffs. Investment in upgrading aging electrical infrastructure is the biggest single driver of Australian power price hikes. Improvement to the grid requires an investment of $42 billion across Australia over the next five years. Chinese solar panel manufacturer SunTech Power Holdings announced total net revenues of almost a billion dollars in the fourth quarter of 2010. The 62% increase on 2009's figures adds to the evidence that the global solar power industry is growing rapidly. Last year, SunTech became the first solar manufacturer to supply Europe with over 100 megawatt of solar energy. Check www.energymatters.com.au forward slash news for further information on any of the news items covered in this episode.